Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I'm here today with the Sony Move stuff, which I'm going to take apart right now. I, of course, have my normal array of tools, a adjustable screwdriver, a piece of tape onto which I can affix screws, and then a variety of spudgers, tweezers, all sorts of other stuff, just in case I need to pry some stuff open. Let's get started. It looks like I have uh, four screws here at least. Here is my big giant battery. There's a couple of cables that seem to probably go to the start and select buttons, which are on either side of the of the remote. The first thing I'm gonna do is unhook this blue ribbon cable, which seems to be the short one. Hopefully it is not glued into place. No, it is not, it just pops right out. It's gonna go right back in, it's pretty firm, it looks like. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is take out the battery case. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take the board out. Are these all the same screws so far? They are. So if, if you look in here, you can see here's where the LED array connects, this white ribbon cable. And it's actually soldered onto the motherboard. There's no kind of connector or anything like that. And it's kind of a sloppy solder. I don't know exactly how they did this. If you look here, this is this is actually the motor that does the rumble effects for the thing. You can see the, the off-balance weights down here underneath maybe. I'm not sure if you can get it in that far, but you know, those rotate and they create a rumble because they're they're not, you know, it's not balanced properly. Uh, so of course here's the pad, you push the buttons the pad pushes up and it hits a contact on the bottom of the remote. I just turned it on, that's probably unwise. Um, that's the PlayStation button, so that's what turns the remote on, it turns out. I don't care, get that off without jacking up. Well, maybe we can, there we go. Okay, so battery's disconnected. No chance of electrocution, or lessened chance of electrocution at least. But this is an ARM processor, so this is gonna be doing all the scary math on the device. There we go. It has a maker's mark that I don't recognize. I don't know, uh, I don't, actually don't know which processors are which here. So there's a bunch of chips on the other side. I would assume that some of these are gyroscopes, some of them are accelerometers, some of them are wireless chips. There's an LED right here, so that's gonna be uh, the light that's the, the kind of wake up light. Uh, these two contacts here are going to be for the, the PlayStation Move button, this guy right here. We've got some uh, charging connectors down here. These are soldered on as well. Here's a standard a USB mini, the old school kind of small USB. These guys are for charging on the base station. And then there's this other mystery port that nobody really knows what it is. And it seems like it's probably for, it looks like, almost like an old school camera connector, like on an old Pentax camera or something like that. It's right here. So this is the external connector. Uh, it has a really thick ribbon cable down here, as you can see, and it's soldered onto the ma main board. Hmm. Does this come out? Oh yeah, it does, sure enough. So this is the LED array, and if you've seen them move in action, you know that the different, the different, the ball, this guy, can produce a ton of different lights. And if you look in here, they have a, a big lens that's gonna diffuse the light from the LEDs, and then I guess that this guy produces a ton of different colors of light. I don't really know, and I don't know that there's any way for us to plug it in with it disconnected. So I've destroyed this. I mean, taking it apart. Now it's time for the navigation controller. So that's disconnected. Oh wait, one more screw. Oh, I think the whole thing's gonna come out now. There we go, that's the stuff right there. Uh, this guy goes to the D-pad on the front. There's a thin film that when you press the buttons it you know, connects these two uh, contacts and then that works the D-pad. Okay, so here's what we have. We have a motherboard on this thing. Uh, looks like another ARM processor, probably a couple of contacts for the, shit, I just turned it on. Um, let me unhook the battery before I do permanent damage to myself. Okay, so that was not the battery. That was the data connectors and the power connectors. Just taking them apart, okay. So the battery's out, no chance of electrocution, not that there really is much of one with a battery this size anyway. There's gonna be some sort of wireless thing underneath this shield probably. Of course the analog stick. You can see how this works. So here and here there's a, there are devices that measure the, the distance that these are moved in two dimensions. Uh, and then there's, of course, a click thing over here, so when you push down on the stick, it clicks a button as well. But that's the Sony Nav controller taken apart. So 
So I'm putting buttons back in. Okay, I think this goes in this way, because there are tabs. This is the light that tells you when the PS3 is on, when the controller is on or off. It appears to only go in one way, which is this way. Before I put the end cap on, I need to put this stuff on here. Okay, the battery is kind of just rests in place. I think the other part is, oh wait, no, there's a snap over here. Snapped into place, okay. I'm gonna run this connector in here where it belongs. Uh, this guy connects in right here. So there's still this mystery piece. Oh, shit. The mystery piece is for the emergency reset button. And it looks like it fits perfectly right there. I might have done this right after all. Who's a buffoon now? Okay, we'll try that out in a minute. Let's go back to the big mama here. Now that I don't remember at all how this goes together, because Anna wanted a fancy shot. I'm gonna put the motor back in here somehow. So this is the battery compartment back on here. You know, this battery compartment looks a little bit bigger. Maybe this battery is bigger. This is a, oh, this is a 1380 milliamp hour. So it is actually a bigger battery than the other one, even though it looks about the same. Where's this extra button from? Where did this come from? Maybe it was just extra. That seems unlikely. So I'm gonna lower this guy back onto the mother, into the front of the controller. The light goes back in like this with the little prongs on top of the, on top of the holders. Just slot nicely into place. So I've got the motor in, I'm putting the back back on. Okay, so it goes in down here, underneath the motor for the rumble. Being careful not to short out any wires. Jam that back into place. I'm gonna start putting some screws back in. There are definitely a few down here that are gonna be easier to get to right now. Seems to fit reasonably well. No weird loose buttons from this thing not being in the right place. Okay, it's back together. The little light's flashing, that seems like a good sign. Let's go take this in, connect it to a PS3, and see if it works. Unfortunately, we don't have any games that worked with this guy yet, but it connected and all the buttons seem to work, so I'm gonna call this one a mission success. Look at, yeah, okay. Okay, so huge success. Uh, that is how to take apart the Sony Move controller ice cream cone thing. Contestant, I'm Will Smith. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.